Hey guys, and welcome to my Ultimate Slayer Guide with Commentary. I hope you all enjoy this guide. Please don't forget to leave a comment and a thumbs up on this video. Okay, so the first thing is the contents on this guide. As you can see, it tells you the contents of every part of the guide. Okay, so part one, the benefits of the Slayer skill itself. Training Slayer gives you an amazing opportunity in my opinion. I think it, it gives you the opportunity to train more than the skill Slayer itself. I mean, you've got attack, strength, defense, constitution, prayer, summoning, range of magic. It also allows you to fight a variety of different monsters and not just the same stuff over and over. Also, you get a lot of refuges and a lot of charms from Training Slayer, which is a good thing as well. Part 2. Slayer Master Locations Part 3, Gear and Inventory Setup Okay, so when you're slaying, not a lot of people understand that power slaying is much more efficient even though it costs that much more, it's much more efficient than training slaying normally Okay, so the first setup, this is just for normal training slayer, no power slaying no cannon, no prey pot, stuff like that Alright, so as you can see on the screen right now, that's what stuff to bring You've got a bit of a choice, I've laid out a bit a few like a few options and that for you to bring. Um this setup costs around 1.6 mil of actually making the guide. Now prices do change, obviously it might have gone down, gone up, stuff like that, so don't expect it to be that price right now, but it'll be around that re region, so hopefully it's all good. Now this is the inventory setup for normal people doing Slayer who can't afford extremes. I haven't got bunyip pouches and stuff like that. Right, it's a high cost setup right here. It's for high level players who's most likely a high slaying level. Right, as you can see we've got full bandos, slayer realm. You know, you've got your barrows, gloves, berserker ring, fire cape, chaotic rapier, dragon defender, all that good stuff. Now this is the inventory, you've got your obviously your extremes, your unicorn pouches for healing and stuff. Right, setup number two is for normal power slaying. Now I want to explain the difference between normal and extreme power slaying. Power slaying gives a lot more experience per hour because you're using a cannon and constant prey pots with piety or turmoil. Right now on the screen yet again is all the stuff you can use for power slaying itself. You might want to pause the video and read through them. Right so what you've got is you've got your slayer realm, your uh, your Soul Wars cape, that can be replaced by a skill cape. You've got your proselyte armor, dragon boots, your rapier, whip, whatever. Now this is your inventory. You've got your cannon, a full inventory of prey pots, your spec weapon if you want to bring one, extreme or super attack and strengths. Now, setup number three is for extreme power slaying. Now what I mean by extreme power slaying is slaying in armor that you're using the highest strength bonus to hit rather than using prayer armor. 
that extra strength bonus will make up for a lot of your hits like it's not that much different XP but if you've got the money to spend on it you may as well slay in full bandos, Torva, stuff like that As you can see we've got full slayer helmet bandos chest plate, bandos tacits, dragon boots berserker ring, fire cape, chaotic rapier, dragon defender it's not really a high prey bonus now that's a inventory setup same as the last one you've got your cannon, you've got your prey pots, extreme attack strength Right. Part 4, Slayer Experience per hour and Combat XP. Now, these are just average rates, obviously your experience rates depend on your tasks that you actually complete and stuff. But, usually I average about 40k to 60k per hour. A little bit over 50k, just put it that way. Normal experience. Slayer's around 15k to 25k per hour. Just normal slaying now with power slaying you get that extra 20 to 30k experience per hour because you're using the cannon and constant prayer parts same goes towards extreme power slaying i mean even though you're using that extreme uh, that extra strength bonus it still comes in handy now i'm going to show you an example of power slaying on the screen right now hope you can see it i don't know what task i'm on because i'll video the clip afterwards actually but as you can see I'm using a cannon and I'm constantly using my prey pots in my bandos and my armor and stuff. Now the cannon is doing most of the work really, but the prey pots I'm using them to protect from range, magic, melee so I don't get hit a lot and I'm using turmoil but obviously some people won't have turmoil. Then I'm using soul split to heal back up my health so I don't really need food. Part 5, Slayer Assignments Given. So when you start to do Slayer, you're going to be given um, a different Slayer, slayer assignment per Slayer Master. Now the first one is Birth Up, uh, Too Real, I think that's what it's called. He assigns Banshees, Birds, Bats, all that on the screen right now. Crawling Hands, Dogs, Dwarfs, Goblins, Ice Vines. Basically what's on the screen right now, they're not really high level. Now the second Slayer Master, called machine I think it is using cannabis he assigns these on the screen right now as you can see what's just popped up yeah again you've got your dogs you've got your goblins you've got a few extras in there your vampires zombies stuff like that now the next one's in Edgeville dungeon called Vanica basically she assigns tasks such as new tasks like aberrant spectres you've got your dust devils in there you've got your green dragons your jellies infernal mages ogres turrofs terror dogs they're a good task lost city is the next uh, slay master which you can uh, get assignments from and uh person from lost city you got you got your banshees you got your dust devils once again you've got elves i think that's a new one Dagonoffs are in there, they're a quick task, you've got your cow fights, next one is from Summoner, now from Summoner that's the one in the desert I believe it is, I'm not too sure, you got your ab demons in there, you've got your black dragons, your black demons sorry, greater demons, you've got your Dagonoffs, you've got your elves, you've got your mutated j jadinkos, Oh, the last, um, the second to last Slayer Master is Juradel, which is in Shiloh Village. Then again, you've got your Abbey Demons, you've got your Dark Beasts, you've got your Dagonoffs, you've got your Dust Devils, you've got Cow Fires, Jungle Strike Worms, Desert Strike Worms, Skeletal Wavens, Spirit Majors, all them good tasks. Now, Ancient Caverns is the last Slayer Master you're going to go to. So I think it's 75 Slayer to use that one. Not too sure. You've got Abbey Demons, Aqua Knights, Dark Beasts again, Dagonoffs, your Fire Giants, you've got Gargoyles, Living Rock Creatures. You've got Tazar Tasks, which you can be assigned for a Fire Cape. Now, these are the personal tasks I skip because it suits my preference, you know. Now, mainly I slay for XP, so on the screen right now I've got Living Rock Creatures blocked. Now the reason for that is because you can cannon them but you get assigned too many and they're good XP but 
I just feel they're not worth it. You don't get that many effigy drops. You've got Black Demons. You've got Aqua Knights cancelled. The reason why I cancel Black Demons is because it's full of botters. And you're going to you're gonna always have problems like that with botters. I mean, it's going to always happen once. Like, Jagex aren't, they aren't even sorting problems out for that. So, at the moment, I've got Aqua Knights, Mutated Jadinkos, Jungle Strike Worms, Desert Strike Worms, Warp Tortoises. I usually skip to Zar, but if I'm in the mood for a Jad task, then I'll go and do it, because that's good XP. But you get 25k for actually completing the task, and you obviously get so many Tazar monsters, creatures, whatever they're called, vol volcanic creatures to kill. So it averages to about 50k XP per task, but I can complete a Jad task in about 30 to 40 minutes, so that's not too bad, that's like a good 50k per hour. But if you fail Jad, then you're obviously going to be down on XP. I'd always recommend to skip Water Fiends as well, unless you're going for Charms, which most of you are, so just do Water Fiends if you want Charms, because apart from that, Water Fiends are probably one of your slower tasks within them um, slayer monsters listed on the screen right now. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this guide, and I hope it actually helped you people out there like wanting to start Slayer. I will be releasing separate guides for different tasks, so... Feel free to subscribe by clicking on the screen right now. I'm not forcing anyone to subscribe, but if you want to see more Slayer guides, then it'd be a huge waste not to go subscribe and check out the future guides what are coming out. But yeah, I'd just like to give a big shout out to everyone that supported me along making this guide. I did originally have a Slayer guide what was 60 minutes long, but me being an idiot, I deleted it. <laughs> so that guide couldn't be put in, so... Therefore, I made this guide. I got, I was really pretty upset about that actually because I, I must have spent 40 hours work, like um, 40 hours work putting it into that one-hour guide, and it just seems like to have all gone to waste. So, feel free to leave a comment on what you thought about this guide. Did you think it was helpful? Did you think? I mean, leave me some critic, uh, constructive criticism. Like, if you thought the guide was bad, then just tell me. But I don't know, I think it's a decent guide, I think that a lot of people will actually enjoy this guide and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and I'll get some good feedback from it. So I might start making other guides, I don't know yet, I'll just see, I'll see what feedback I get from this guide first of all. But yeah guys, thanks for watching, please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the guide and please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future Slayer guys from me, thanks for watching.